Wow, what an absolutely insane weekend. The Sidemen Charity Match 2022. By far, I think, the greatest event I've ever taken part in. Over 1 million quid raised for charity. 2.6 million concurrent viewers live watching the match. It's absolutely insane, and I cannot thank the Sidemen and everyone else for making this all possible and obviously inviting me down to play along and have my part, which, by the way, very happy with. Now, before we get into reacting to this match and, of course, the vlog, I've got some boots. These are Chalmers boots, the actual match-worn boots. I'm going to give these away. Look, they've even got some turf still on it. So if you want to win Chandler's very own match warm boots from the Simon Charity Match, just drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. There you go, and I'll send these out to one of you lucky lots. But make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. Morning. How there are you doing? How you feeling? Morning. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I just tried to explain it to the camera how everyone thinks we hate each other, but really, we're besties. I'm ready. We are enemies oh, no. today. We enemies are. today. But as soon as that final whistle goes, I'm going to give you a big fat kiss. Pinky promise. <laughs> Score predictions. What are you going for? I'm going to go with. I have to back us. So I'm going to go with us to win 6 4. 6 4? Yeah. It's going to be, I think it's going to be goals. 7 4 to the All Stars is what I'm going with. Okay. And Mr. Will Any over there is going to score. Look at him. What are you doing? <laughs> Mate, I'm documenting the experience. <laughs> First hand. <laughs> oh, look at that. Rose Z. Joshua Larkin, my number one fan. I actually am your biggest supporter, man. Drip. Success with him too. Um, a hat trick on me. What? You don't get a hat trick, it's fucking sinker. So how long? You're not meant to be putting the pressure I on me. I think not about you are the best player here. And you, you can play Prem Ball, you can spot eight goals. He, he believes it too, you know. Like he he's does. They're no, boys. Yeah. 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 Oh, my this. There he is. Oh, Mark. 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 kills me swift. Mark, my gaffer. Are we ready for today? Ready. We're ready. Let's do it. Got the tactics. Peanut butter and banana sandwich. Tell them your game plan, Baker. Banana, sugar, yeah. fruit toast, carbs, <laughs> bread, peanut butter, salt, sugar, energy. Juice. It's what you want. That's what you want. This is the man, this is an athlete. How are you feeling before the game? I'm actually feeling good now. I was a bit nervous this morning. As you should be. But now I'm getting excited. That's good. The closer to the game, the more excitement builds. Yeah. yeah. And Ali. Hello. What's the score going to be today? I think there's going to be a one-sided matchup. There's a toss-up against two. I think it's going to be seven, three. I don't know who. who. Oh! And what about yourself? Are you feeling fit from your fight? I'm feeling very fit. I gained a little wee bit of weight. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Here we go. We've made it. Turn of the king to the valley. Judas. Judas, Don't, Judas. Come on, man. It wasn't even my decision. <laughs> of course it wasn't. Ooh. Tell you what, this is quite cool. Quite steep stairs, though, so I'm trying not to get injured going down here. Careful. I think this might be the, the, the best pitch I've ever seen at the Valley. Jesus. Yeah, that is Cal, are you ready for the, a goalkeeping masterclass today? I'm ready as always. Good boy. We just keep gravitating back. Why are we always together? I don't know. Mate, this is an absolute honor. Yeah. I think we're the home. I think you're, you're the away, Chris. Here we go, YouTube All Stars. Oh, there he is. Let's go, let's go, Nico, it's happening. You're our striker. Yeah. We need goals, mate. We need I'm goals. I'm trying my best. I can't make any promises except seven goals for me today. Oh, we take it, we take it. Castro, are you ready? Fucking goal, mate. Come on, come on. I'm eating dates. Huh? I'm eating dates. You're not tall, though. That's one thing I'll give you. Nico. You, see, you seem to have taken the captaincy role from everyone right now. No, oh, I've taken the captaincy role. Will, stop taking the mic. <laughs> That's one thing we've missed, captain. Oh, I'm giving it to Nico. Uh, why? 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 You're the loudmouth. Yeah. The behind the scenes of the green screen. The two commentators who technically should be impartial. But yes, we'll be. We'll I'll be biased towards you. I think the side may go win unless you go up front, and in which case all bets are on. We have Noah Beck. No Beck is decent. They have Chris M D. Chris M Fraud, we call him. Okay, score prediction then, Sven. I'm going to say seven. What? Five. Up two. The side may unless you go up front. Oh, the pressure and Stephen. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to go three all. Just... Penalty shoot out the end. Oh. And we're on the pitch. We've got Mr. Nervous himself over there. Oh, wow. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Chris, 
Are you born for this? Are you ready to shine? There's not too many booze so far, so I'll take that. Oh, we take that, we take that. Well, lads, we're going to go outside, a bit of passing drills, some shots, warm yourselves up, and let's start building up for three o'clock. Come on, go! Here we go. Coming out, YouTube All Stars. Did you, did you get these booze at Soccer Raid or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think the score is going to be? 8 3 us. 8 3? 8 3 us. Come on. Right, it is now time to warm up, get the game on. We've got about 50 minutes until, until the game starts. All stars are out here. I just need to pray I don't, don't get injured in the warm up. Go, Jokes! Oh, no! Lead the way. on it. It's going to be a great game. It's warm. It's packed out. The crowd are up for it. Speed's doing so every day of the week. It's quality horses. I just got to say this is one of the craziest things I've ever done. Like thank you so much to the Sidemen for inviting me here. This is like bizarre. This is absolutely mad. Um, next up, kick off. This is our right winger and what's our celebration when we score? So so here we are then, and of course the talking point for me was the fact that I was starting at centre-back. The issue was no one else could play centre-back in our team. It was Harry and no one else. So the goal was me to start centre-back, five, ten minutes in, just push on. And as you see in the game, I did do that. Philly would drop in, Noah would drop in. We sort of take it in turns at centre-back. How the Dragon in goal. I'm assuming I'm going to come up any second now at Ali at left-back. Very, very competent at left back. What a player. And then, of course, centre back. Is it going to be me? No, it's going to be arguably our best player on the pitch, Harry Pinero. During the game, he was quite simply Thiago Silva. And here I am. Theo Baker. He doesn't offer much at the back, but he's great up top. Sort of the opposite of his hairline. Wow, Stephen, the opposite. Well, you know what? I rate it. So the walkouts have started, and I can't tell you how gassed I was. And I, well, I can't even remember what I was talking to, jo to Josh about, but it was just small talk. It was small talk because we obviously both a little bit apprehensive going into it. But as soon as I stepped out and I felt the crowd, all the nerves went away and I just got this like air of confidence, excitement, and I just couldn't wait for the match to start. Mark Clattenburg as the referee, by the way, I thought he got the game absolutely spot on. He let things run. He managed to like secure the banter with some of the players, speed included. And this opening 15 seconds has gone down as one of the most iconic moments in footballing history, i got to admit. Castro into Chunks. Chunks flicks it over Chris. JJ on the ball. And here comes Speed. Here he comes. Oh, my God. That absolutely set the tone for the entire match. Luckily, JJ didn't get injured there. From then on in, we just knew we had an amazing game to follow. First real like excitement after the tackle came from a Cal the Dragon pass into Ali at centre-back. Vic Star closing in. He wins the tackle, but oh! Centre half Baker is there, and I hear on Spencer a commentary saying how he wants to see me run from the centre back, and that's exactly what I did. It took me one minute to come out of centre back. Castro playing it into me, and honestly, I got well excited there. Didn't look like much, but I actually got well excited. But JJ comes in with a with a nice tackle from behind me. I gotta to touch on this. So speed's first involvement, awful pass, but Chris MD, come on, one turn past speed, cuts it back inside. Oh, that is the Chris we all know and love. Very, very nice. A good pass up to Simon. Just after five minutes in, Toby on the ball here. Gold speed. Mate, that's a good tackle. It may be a tackle from behind, but it's still a good tackle. Noah into Chunks, and I saw Chunks. I had such a beautiful view of this. Oh, my God. Chunks take a bow. I was right behind him when I saw it, and I just, as soon as it left his boot, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's flying. It's flying. Chunks take a bow. Noah Beck assist. Chunks worldy, and when that went in, mate, I just thought, what a game we have got in store for us today. What a goal, Chunks. Here we have Vixar running in. Cal the... Oh, the Cal the mess up, the mess up. Cal the Dragon I had to clear up his mistake. And once again, it fires up the pitch. And it falls to Harry. He heads the ball down. Philly on the ball here. And at this point, there is a, an absolute loser running on the pitch. But he does get a cool view of Nico's goal because Philly... 
He gets it. It falls to Nico. And it's in the back of the net. And it is 2-0 inside 10 minutes. 2-0 to the All-Stars. I honestly thought at this point... It could be 5 or 6 within 15. We were all over them. And you've got to say to Nico, on the weak foot over pie face, that is a quality finish. So 2-0 inside like 10 minutes means we made a couple changes. I was like, I'm not playing centre-back for this whole game. I think we put Gibb at centre-back. So we thought, HP and Gibb, they could do a job. I'm going to push up a little bit and try and get involved in some of the attacks in the midfield. Nice touch from Chris. Good composure to play it into Simon, who feeds in Vic Star. And one touch out of the foot. And it is a goal from Vic. Mate, I celebrated. Everyone celebrated this goal. Maybe it was a mistake for me to come out of centre-back and put Gibb at centre-back. But you can't take away from the finish. Vic with a very composed finish. Simon with the assist. So much time and space. But you know what they say. When you've got time and space, that's the easiest ones to miss because you overthink it. One touch to score. That is a, a genuinely a very good finish. i got to talk about this kickoff because before the game, Ethan was, he was adamant. He was going to come for me. He was going to break my legs. Let's see it. Let's see it, Ethan. Oh. Oh, no. He's bounced off me. He's bounced off me after developed some muscle and strength. I don't want to be that guy, but... This is a penalty. Chunks of a great delivery. Cal is in the back of me. And Castro, great connection on the head there. Great connection. Cal comes up to me after this here and he goes, mate, I've absolutely pulled you. I've got a bruise on my back where he's grabbed me down. That's a pen, man. That is the pen. It may not have looked like much. Trust me, Cal Freezy, you even know that was a penalty. Will misses the ball here. And look at the pace of Manny. Mate, he's actually rapid. He is so fast. He's going to try and find his brother on the right-hand side. It falls to him. Toby with the 1 2 with Simon. Simon plays it back in, mate. That is just such a good goal. That is actually such a good goal. First Manny on the pace on the wing. And then the 1 2 between Toby and Simon. Simon's layoff into Toby was genuinely like the perfect weighted pass. And just like that, it goes from 2 0 to 2 all inside 20 minutes. And we've got one of the games of football history happening right now. I, I wouldn't say I can play centre back, but I can do what, as Spencer says on commentary, is a classic in English centre back. And that is get rid. There it is. Oh, this was, I would say this was like my first, like, chance uh, to score. Noah here playing inside me. I'm going to have a first time shot. And you know what? Harry with the hand there. Low key a handball. But that was going on target. And I'm adamant if Harry wasn't in the way, that might have gone in there. But you know what? We're moving. The pace of Noah bringing, it, it just transitions the ball so fast. Falls to Castro on the edge of the box. Has a shot. Oh, Castro. Oh my god, I forgot about this. That was actually really nice from Castro. I have to say, this is this is gold of the game. Philly picks the ball up. Straight past Lux. And wow. I actually have the stats on that goal. The XG on that goal is 0.02. Which means he had no right in scoring that. That genuinely beats... Like most pro keepers, I think. 0.02 on that XG for that goal. That is absolutely insane by Philly. Ooh, there we go. Pings out to Castro. If you want to see how fast Noah is, look at it. Take He takes it from centre-back. Straight past two players. I'm looking for this right-hand side to play the ball in. I stray offside, so he takes it past Harry. And it's a bit it's a bit of a tame shot in the end. I think he got caught between either powering it or curling it. And it sort of just like was a mash-up of both. Manny, what a pass that is. You've got to say, terrible positioning from Cal. But Simon with the vision and the confidence to even attempt it. That's actually like a really good goal. At this point here, like 15 minutes to go before halftime, we're like, we want to go into halftime in the lead. I tried to play the ball into Castro. Noah with a bit of Czechoslovakia. Plays it back into me. One touch. Bang. Castro. One on one. And that is a really good tackle from Harry. You're seeing Goldbridge ball in full flow here. The All-Stars with fluid with the passing. With the ball up to speed, he's definitely offside here. But oh! Fakey. Oh, mate. I just didn't connect with it. You know when one of them ones is like, it's in your feet, it's like underneath you, and I just couldn't get the power on it? <sighs> that was my chance, though. I really, really, really thought I was going to score that. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the clip uh, Speed tweeted, and it's got like half a million likes. Nowhere into me. And he's like, I was offside. I don't know, Speed. You're about 10 meters offside. Why? Just learn the offside rule, please. We could have been in. Look at that. Actually, just look how far offside that is. That is something you don't see. You don't see in everyday matches. I tried to feed Noah in, but it's just a little bit heavy. Right, Noah in the middle of the park again. He takes it past JJ. And oh, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this, Noah. Into me. 
<laughs> La Croqueta past Mr. Beast and JJ. Oh, mate, I was so happy. Pyreface maybe could have done better, but he actually said to me after the game, he said, mate, it dipped underneath me. I couldn't save it. Oh. Look, it dipped underneath him. Mr. Beast, see ya. JJ, see ya. And I gotta admit, mate, that honestly, that made my day. I was so happy with that. I just wanted like one goal so I could remember it. Keep up the record in charity matches. I seem to be pulling out that little skill like time and time again. It seems to be my go-to skill. And you saw Philly use it in the game as well. Like even Chris, like it seems to be a very, very effective and a basic skill to use. So if you're wondering what skills can you use in a game, La Croqueta, easy to do and works nine times out of 10. But a 0.06 XG on that goal, very, very happy. And that is four free. Before half time, seven goals. I admit, mate, I was blowing. I was knackered. The first 15, 20 minutes of this match went out so fast. I was like, there's no way this can continue. Some quality performances so far. Seven goals. What a half. All right, it's half time. It's four free chunks. How are we doing? You, you scored yeah. a world. No, I tried my best. Uh, the thing is, the lads are playing very well. Generally, big shout out to Theo, Noah, Harry. The, the whole team, generally. And Chandler! And Nico, the counter. Listen, the guys are playing incredible. We've got, we've got, we've got Rio Ferdinand at the back. Where's Philly? Where's Philly? Uh, Philly. Talk to you about that finish. Talk to you about that yeah. finish. Yeah! yeah. yeah. This is sick. The second half has begun, and Mr. Clattenburg kicks us off. And Chris MD of the shot. I actually convinced him to do that. I said, Chris, you wouldn't. And he did. And it wasn't very good, was it, Chris? But you know what? you got to rate the attempt. The first minute of the second half, Noah with uh, a nice little no-look pass. And I've got so much room here. And I heard the crowd go, shoot! Yeah, not my best attempt. And I can't lie, I did that shot. Yeah, I, I, I had to do it. I had to shoot. But I did that shot. And I just felt like that first little inkling, first, first onset of cramp. And in my head, I was like, oh, no. We could be in trouble later on in this game. Oh, one, two of chunks here. And I feed in speed on the right-hand side. It's a perfectly weighted pass. And he missed the ball. He's got such athleticism. He's got everything that you need to be a good footballer. You know, energy. Just lacking the ability. But I reckon, give speed six months. Maybe next year, if there's a chatting match next year, he will be a different player. Here it is then. Simon with the quick free kick. Plays it into Toby. And this is where Toby shows his composure, doesn't he? Will in the out position. Goes round. Cal the Dragon. And you've got to hand it to the Simon there. That is a really, really good equaliser. First of all, it's Simon with the quick thinking, the brilliant pass into Toby. And then Toby with the composure survives the will and need tackle round Cal the Dragon. And that makes it 4-4. Can we just talk about this? Speed winning the ball back. I take it past Mr. Beast. Touch him the ball. Travella outside of the boot. Perfectly weighted into Nico. And he just head it. Head it or chest it, Nico. That had to be a goal. The build-up play in the pass. Oh, that could have been five. This right here could win the Puskas Award. Cow the Dragon into HP. Noah into me. A little one-two back into Noah. Noah up to Chunks. Chunks back into Noah. The heart of the midfield is unbelievable. Nico into Castro. This is Goldbridge ball in full force. Myself, perfectly weighted pass. And there Castro is. What a sensational goal that is. Goldbridge ball and the finish from Castro. The celebration from Castro. His mum beat Castro two days prior to this. What a feeling that must have been for Castro to score and to celebrate like that is truly heartwarming. Genuinely free-flowing, fluid football. Goldbridge ball, he wanted us to do that and we put it into full force. And you, that is just, mate, that is actually such a good goal. Goldbridge FC producing the wonders. I then came off the pitch. I, I honestly needed a break. Like, my legs were running dry. As <laughs> not sure what Deji was doing there. This right here. Castro sort of come into the middle of the park here to fill my role. And what a through ball. Look at that weight. And Nico in one-on-one -on -one round the goalie. <laughs> I honestly thought that had gone in. I was watching from the side. It was offside, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. So I think he missed it on purpose. Mate, the amount of chances each team had here. Noah running and pulling the strings into Deji. This has to be a goal. Has to be a goal. Oh! Oh, the composure was lacking from Deji there. The thing is, before the game, he was like asking advice on how to kick it. He's got like a weldy in the warm-up. Now, you could arguably say, this is moment of the match. Noah 
mocking JJ there, takes it past him with ease and then plays in speed. Who is so sadly so far offside. One of the biggest robberies in football history. Speed scores. He drops the soo. But unfortunately, he is about 10 metres offside. Apparently, he spent 17 minutes offside this game. It's just sad, isn't it? I actually ran off from the sub but he wasn't too happy about it. He actually, he actually went after Mark Kattenberg. Kattenberg was lucky to come out of that alive. Running away! It's an absolute pantomime! Now, Cal the Dragon got a lot of stick, but he, he may have made some mistakes. You can't deny he actually did make some really good saves here. This is one of them. Look at that. A great save from Chris with his feet. And then right after that foot save, as they're showing a replay of it, it falls to Manny. And look at that. It's another save from Cal. George not found, picking up the ball on the edge of the box. And what happens? He does get found by Simon. Simon cuts it inside, has the shot. And that uh, is not looking good. It's not looking good, bruv. HP, Harry Panero at the back. Like... It's because he's a defender, you don't get as much uh, shown, but he was honestly a rock for us as I play the ball outright once again to speed. This is what I mean, like, he's got the pace. All he had to do was just cross the ball in, he just can't quite do it, but he has the right intentions, the right intentions are there. I think Chris is offside there. Can we get a VAR check on that? Again, Cal, it's not harsh in saying you should have saved it, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? Chris, however, Celebrating that goal and kissing the, kissing the Sidemen badge. I'm not too sure. Traitor. But you know what? I'm happy for him. I really am. Chunks on this left-hand side here. Oh, Foden-esque into KDB, a.k.a. Castro. And speed on the back post. Oh, it didn't even go towards the goal in the end. And I have a strike and I put it over. But, oh, but the connection. Speed had chances. Come on, Chris. Chris. Oh, and he... No, no. You need work right there, Chris. <laughs> speed. <laughs> that is an iconic photo. Speed over JJ. Right, Nico. With the rebound, what do they teach you as a kid, as a striker? Always follow up shot. Me on Lux, what can I do here? Oh, breeze past him. That's what I can do. Plays the ball perfectly into Nico, who takes the touch and it just sneaks away from him. Gutted because I've taken a free kick here, played it up into Chunks, who shoulders it down into Will and Nee. What a goal. But they haven't shown my free kick. I've absolutely lasered one up to Chunks. Route one, Brexit football straight up there. To nutmeg it, JJ, for the second time. But once again, I didn't quite get it. I got it through the legs, but I couldn't get around the other side here as Toby plays it into Chris. I didn't know this was actually a 1-2. Chris was a really nice through ball here. And this is just, this is just unbelievable. Tra Travella into Manny. Ricardo Charisma, a.k.a. Toby Jizzle, into his brother Manny, a.k.a. Haaland. Four minutes left to go. Honestly, at this point, 7-0, like, anyone could have bagged the winner. I actually thought it was going to go to Pens. Simon Minter, 35, 40 yards out. What an insane insane goal that is that's his hat trick the only man in history other than Lionel Messi to get our 10 out of 10 performance really watch me here I like go JJ go to JJ and then oh my god the left calf went like <laughs> our last moment two and a half million people watching could the all-stars do it I take it past JJ I'm like this has to be a piece of magic La Croqueta pas circa and I can't lie, I actually think I probably could have stayed on my feet there. But look at the cramp. Oh my god. My legs physically wouldn't bend the other way because of the cramp was so bad. I was screaming at Jamie. I was like, please, please stretch my legs. I was actually dying. The pressure. He's done it in videos. He's done it in matches before. Could I score with the final kick of the game? Spencer on come saying this is the most important free kick in YouTube history. I stood up. I was genuinely in my head. I was like, I've scored this. I've, I did everything right with the free kick. Got it on target and whatnot. Imagine the scenes. It pains me to watch it. Oh, I felt everything. I was so calm. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't even nervous for it. I was so confident this goes in. It's not even a bad effort. It's not a bad effort. Like, it's just not high with the save. I actually think that was one of his only saves of the whole game. I will never live that free kick down, man. I wish I'd scored that. But overall, what an incredible experience. Let me know in the comments. What was your favourite moment? Who was your favourite player that played? And the score was 8-7 to the side. Mate, I had my moment at the end to I score know. it. You could have said it no. But I got it on target. I got it on no, target. It was a decent free kick. The worst you could have done is miss the whole goal. Yeah, at least it was on target. Yeah, no, 100%. But, mate, I couldn't even walk. I've never had cut like that in my life. That was insane. I'm starting training for the next one next week. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got surgery next week. That's training. That counts. After the surgery, rehab, and we're ready. And we're ready. 
870, absolutely insane. Son with a goal. Ten, I got a goal. I got an assist. Got a goal and assist. Three goals, two assists. M O M. M O M. <laughs>